So TVS diodes, unlike other PN junction diodes, have a large cross-sectional area for absorbing high transient currents. And in case of an overvoltage event, these diodes shunt most of the current to the ground, allowing a very minimal flow of voltage through the uh, through the components that needs to be protected and in this case uh, IC and here we see a simplified representation of the TVS diode however looking internally this would be the actual representation of the TVS diodes which often uh, are provided by manufacturers and looking into its functionality so the diodes operate in two regions into uh, uh, regions the forward bias and the reverse bias and under the forward bias condition as the voltage across these diodes increase the current through them also increases and in the reverse bias specifically in the leakage region the diode is still not turned on so under this case there is a very minimal current flowing through the device which is not actually affecting the performance of the circuit to be protected but as the voltage increases further reaching to a point called clamp voltage so this is a point where most of the current is shunted to the ground and the excessive voltage is uh, clamped off in case of a unidirectional diode the way the uh, it is laid right now it would actually chop off the in, uh, negative transients and in case of a bidirectional diode, it would chop off both or clamp both the positive and negative transients. However, the nonlinear devices simulation in a full wave solver can be challenging as the full wave solvers can effectively model uh, the linearity because of, of the 3D devices or, or 3D uh, CAD, model, CAD geometries.